I can tell you that right now, there's been a few problems here, and he's claimed that he hadn't been 100% at all times, but he's going to be 100%. We're going to see to it. I'm going to tell you why, because he belongs to the stud stable. He belongs to the Tennessee stud over here, Robert Fuller. He signed his name on the dotted line. You were sitting there with us, Mr. Soli, if you will remember. And when he signed that contract, he belongs to us, brother. One way or another, he will pay. You know what I'm talking about? I'd like to say one other thing while I got this chance here about this King of the Thunderdome. You, there was a Tennessee stud out here. Ron Fuller calls himself a Tennessee stud. Well, that fat little geek, Doug Furness, claiming they beat me in the King of the Thunderdome. Well, I'm going to tell you something. You saw the film right there, ladies and gentlemen. The man that walked out of that cage with the money was the winner. It was clearly that I walked out of there with the money. It was in my hands. That slim super jerk Ron Fuller come down there and cost me that $100,000. I got 10 stitches in the top of my head, brother, where Doug Furness hit me in the top of the head with that chain, and I'm telling you right now, Furness, I will never forget it, brother. I don't care how strong you are. You are not that good of a wrestler, and you're not that good of a fighter, and I'm going to catch up with you, brother, somewhere down the line. I just want to say my piece, and that money belongs to the stud stable. Well, all right, so we've heard. Tell can work that arm. You see him staying with that arm? That's a smart man right there. Now, that Dutch man tell, he's told me over and over and over again, Robert, I don't feel good about Wendell Cooley. I don't listen to nothing. I'm going to quit getting mad, Gordon. I'm going to get even, baby. I'm going to start listening to Dutch man tell when he tells me things because that is a smart man right there. He's not only smart as a technician in that ring wrestling, but he's smart. The man's like a walking dictionary. You know that, Gordon? He's even bad it for your job. He's one man that could sure do it. You and I both know that. That man knows his professional wrestling right there, Gordon Soley. And he told me, plain as night and day, Wendell Cooley ain't no good for you, Rob. And what did I do, Jimmy? I didn't listen to a darn thing. That's quite all right, though, but like I mentioned before, Cooley's name is on the contract, brother, and we, we got, got control back. of him. We got control of his money. He's going to do like we say, or he's going to pay. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I think Mr. Uh, Roland and Mr. Fuller have made their points abundantly clear. Beautiful lariat by, uh, what, by uh, Dutch Mantell, and he's very proud of himself. I must say that he has been uh, manhandling this 260-pound Eric Long rather efficiently beautifully executed that's power you slam that's the way you treat a dud right there gordon Soli. you talk about my brother calling me man the hottest stuff ever walk inside this building calling me a dud you want to see a dud he's laying flat of his back inside of that ring dutch you. mantel thank you all right dutch mantel is indeed the winner